Hi there guys, welcome back to Ron's Relics and Coins. Yeah, today I'm back at the uh, old location. I've um, been to a couple of times. Um, there was a grandstand built here back in 1930 and it was pulled down in 1968. Um, just along the side of the riverbank here and the sports oval and that was here. All right. Um, I'd done that with the uh, Manticore Oh no, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. I might have been had the Equinox 800 and I'd done that with the um, 11 inch coil. Well, today I'm going to hit it with the uh, Manticore with the M8 and see what I come up with. So, I'll get back to you on my first decent find. Not a bad day here today. Beautiful blue sky. And as I said, we've got the river just down in over there all right i'll get back to you shortly oh well i got my first gold coin for the day two dollars fair way down there probably about half the depth of the pinpointer two dollars that's all right they all add up all right We'll clean this up and we'll catch you on the next one. Okay, I've got a 60... Hmm. 60... 663. Scratchy. Probably about six inches down. Alright, let's have a look. I'm hoping to get out next weekend. I've got the, um, all the weekend off. So I'm hoping to get down to a beach or something like that. Something different. Be nice to get down to Bondi. Maybe up where Home and Away is made to be good too. Northern beaches. So it remains to be seen where I might end up. All right. Okay, still in the bottom of the hole. Oh, I did see it. There, what do we got? Ah, uh, what's that? Oh, ho, 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 yes. Commonwealth half penny. You little ripper. And clean him up a bit. Yes. Yeah, come out in the middle of the oval, away from all the tracks and and all that sort of stuff over there. And the cricket pitch is over there in the middle. Alright, what do we got? 19 19 27 half penny Commonwealth KG6 is it? Well KB KG5 KG5 Beautiful there might be more to be found yet. All right, let's crack on. Put that in there. I'll double check the hole. No, nothing else in there. Beautiful. Oh, that's the first pre desi for the afternoon. Catch on the next. All right, fishing sinker. First one here in the middle of the park. So someone's been practicing on doing their casting out here, I'd say, or they've dropped it on the way back from going fishing down over there. <laughs> All right, eh? All right, I'll clean this up and we'll move along. Okay, we've got a sixteen seventeen low tone. 
I think it might be about a five, it could be a five cent piece, but ten cent piece maybe. I'll have a look. Low tone. <coughs> Righto. Let's see what we got, eh? Right there. Cent piece. So that comes up 16, 17 to up to 20 thereabouts. So five cent piece. Right. Okay. Okay, we'll move along. Okay, we've got a 46, 45, 46. All the way down, low tone. Okay, could be. I'm guessing maybe fifty cent piece. Could be a bottle top too. All right. <clears throat> Jeez, I tell you what, it's nice and bloody cool now. Better than what it has been. It's comfortable. Right on. Okay, so it's not in the plant. Oh, he's out of the hole. What have we got? An old rusty bolt. No? One of them spikes that go on the bottom of a football shoe. That's what that looks like. Um, oh no. No. Wrong. It's a valve. Here's the dust cap. It's an old valve out of a tyre. <laughs> there you go. Alright. See you soon. Okay, I've got a high tone. 64. 65 maybe a dollar and yeah, maybe a dollar I get without breaking it too much. Sometimes easier said than done. Alright. Alright, just wash this off a bit. Alright. Okay. Alright, still in the plug. Okay. And there it is. It's a dollar. Chattery because I'm near the pool. All their Wi-Fi settings and systems over there. And... and then it's all chattery that way. Turn around and face that way, it's not so bad. Alright, we'll catch you on the next. Okay, 40, 41. Low tone, 39.40, and 
only about two inches down. 20 cent piece I'm guessing. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, no, something hard there. All right. Yeah, something hard there. It makes me wonder it could be a sprinkler system. All right, I'll just pull that up and have a look. All right, what is it? Whatever it is, he's pulling it all up. All right, what have we got? Huh. Right. It's blocked off something down there. No hole, no drain. Yeah, I don't know. Big sheet of tin. Hmm. All right, I'll lug that back home with me, put it in the bin. Right, all right, see you soon. Oh, you're not going to believe it. Fair dinkum. Ah, oh, hurry up. If you can see where the detector is there, that's where I've got that sheet of tin. And then I just started swinging and I got a scratchy sound. And I thought it might have been a bit of junk, so I didn't worry about doing a live dig. And bugger me, I've done that one there. That's where the tin was, just over here. Then I come here, as I said, scratchy sound. Come up as uh, 80, 89, 89, down to 85, thereabouts. And I tug it and I threw it out and turned it over. And look what I've got here. Another little half penny. And there's the imprint. There's the impression on the soil there and that's what just really rolled out sheet of tin there and a bloody half penny there wow there's to show you done it <laughs> and that little m8 coil mate that's the ducks nuts that would have to be the best little coil i've seen I've had the six inch coil on the Equinox, but that little M8, she's a ripper. All right, what do we got? I think it's KG6, and it's a little Rue half penny. Yep, little Rue half penny, and 19. Oh, God. 1947, I think it is. Yeah, little Rue half penny. Great stuff. All right, we'll catch you on the next. I'll double check the hole, just in case. No, no more there. No, no more. I'll check that with that, then I'll check it with the detector just in case. Hmm. No, that's all she wrote. Righto. Oh, it's the duck's nuts. All right, we'll clean that up and we'll move along. Okay, I've got a 39.40. And it ends up being... 20 cent piece. Yep. Very. Going off the beaten track a little bit, but she's still grabbing. All right. Hey guys, I haven't found much in a little while. I've found a heap of one cent pieces. Now I've just got this one here, not sure what it is yet. Yeah, it's been a little bit far and far between. Like the further I go out in the oval, I'm getting less fines. 
So, we'll see what this one gives us. Okay, got him out of the hole. Now, I dare say it'll probably be another one cent piece. No, two cent piece. Yep, yeah, two cent piece this time. That's all I seem to have been getting in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I haven't been doing many uh, live digs. Oh, well. I don't want to fill it up on, on junk on two cent pieces and that. But anyway, got to dig them. All right. All right, guys. That'll do me for the afternoon. Only had an hour or so to spare. Found a couple of half pennies, a couple bucks, a few cents. A little bit of junk. But anyway, it's always fun to come out. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. All right. I'll try and put the video up a little later on and uh, keep an eye out for next weekend I might end up at the beach who knows let's see how I go all right I'll see you a little later on g'day guys welcome back all righty my little hour or so this afternoon well start off with me junk there's that big tin plate I don't know what it was covering but there was no hole underneath it so it looked like it was covering a drain but i put my hand and um, pinpointed down there and i couldn't couldn't work out what it was there for um big ball of rusty steel I'm not quite sure what that is but it's bloody iron bits and pieces of brass sprinkler systems that's been mangled up with a lawnmower you know you know, bolts and bits and pieces and a bit of aluminium famous pull tabs I uh, got myself four dollars in, in goldies uh, two dollar coin, two one dollar coins uh, 45 cents not so much of these, that's good uh, two cent piece and four cents in one cent pieces and best of all radio little Commonwealth half penny 1927 and that's um, King George V that's not in bad Nick and the other one is a Commonwealth oh, sorry a kangaroo half penny 1943 I think I said I thought it was 1947 but I couldn't quite tell but yeah it ended up being 1943 and that's KG6. That's pretty good. So, yeah, not a great deal again today. But it's always fun getting out and having a bit of a scratch around. That little um, M8 coil, that's the duck's nuts. It's it's a, fair, it's a good little coil. Um, you just got to walk slower. Make sure you can cover your ground a little bit, you know, a little bit more. Um, yeah. Always remember to fill in your holes and uh, play the game safe. Until next time, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Helps get the, the uh, videos out there and hopefully they get a little bit better down the track. Alright, see you next time.